such a huge opportunity when H&M said, would you be interested in working with us and then to collaborate with the same man who created Romeo and Juliet, The Great Gatsby, Moulin Rouge, all of these wonderfully important films. You start with, what is the big idea? And in this case, the big idea is Erdem himself. He is, in fact, the script and the subject. And so my job was to craft a narrative that reflected his sensibility. One of the things I think that Baz wanted to express were some of the fundamental characteristics of Erdem's aesthetic and the romantic floral nature of the clothes. And so that's where this idea of florals forever a spring, an eternal springtime, because what's interesting is he's not just doing florals, but an autumnal use of florals, and that we're trying to incorporate in the movie. And then Baz started talking about flowers growing out of some kind of interior space, and we started looking for a location, and eventually we found this magnificent house called The Grange. So I came up with a bit of a story, really, something a bit like Miss Havisham from Dickens. She's a bit mad, but she loves flowers. She's just taken control of her environment and created a world within a, a sanctuary where it is always spring. Clothing is the very beginning of the DNA of who a character is. But what we do is, it's not just, well, does this piece of clothing look good? It is, we find the character. So we equally started working with the actors. We were doing scenes as we were fitting the clothes. It's really amazing to have the opportunity to work with Baz. He's got great scope to explore his creative mind and he lets you do the same. He unlocks people. He spends a lot of time um, explaining, having us thinking lots about it. So we're very sure what we're doing before we go on camera. Good in there, that was good. Drive, 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 drive. It's very floral and spring-like inside her house. I mean, it's a little bit abstract, obviously, but winter's outside, it's spring inside. It's um, a metaphor that out there in the world, there's a bit of a storm coming, you know, winter is coming, it's harsh out there, you know? And here in Redham Gardens, the things that really matter are kept growing in an eternal spring. I just, I just want to see it, see it done. I can't wait. I have so much faith in him. 